Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a process flow diagram in PowerPoint, which you can do it in less than five minutes. You can see here, I have just created the symbol for the start, then the decision, and then I have created process three process, process one, process two, and process three. And based on the process, the action will be taken and the end. So let's see how to create this process flow diagram in PowerPoint in less than five minutes. Add a new slide and change the background to gradient fill. Go to view, enable the guides. Go to insert shapes, select an oval shape. Just click, it will create one oval shape here. And shape fill, use some nice colors. And shape outline, make it white color. And increase the weight to this one. And press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to add another symbol for the decision and to change the symbol go to format edit shape change shape and for the decision the symbol is this one you can see under flowchart this is the flowchart decision i'll just click that one increase the size a little bit more and then press ctrl d i'm going to create three processes here and the symbol for the process is this one. You can go to edit shape. You can see here, this is a alternate process or you can use any of this. Click that one, increase the size and reduce the width. Press control D. So this is the second one and control D. This is the third one and make sure that this is aligned properly and it's vertical also properly and once this is done i'm going to press ctrl d for this to duplicate and here i'm going to add another symbol which is if you want you can just see here you have got a variety of and for example say this one a flowchart a data here i'll just click so it changes to this one and the last one is the end i'm just going to select this this is start and this is the end and put it here so you can see here our basic design is ready then i'm going to add the arrows to add the arrows go to insert shapes and select any arrow here the lines and just draw a straight line here straight arrow you can see here and i'm just going to view or remove the guides and right mouse click go to format shape and you can change the color for example i'm going to use orange color and increase the width you can see here the arrow and then i'm going to end arrow type i need something like this and end arrow size which is a bigger one so we got this one and then i'm going to add the arrow from the decision to the three processes for that select the arrow press ctrl d and bring the arrow here and one more arrow here but here i need a different arrow here for that right mouse click you can change the connector type to connector elbow and you'll get this particular arrow and then i'm just going to ctrl d to duplicate it put it here and put it here one more and then I'm just going to copy this control D and put it here. And then I'm going to add the same arrow control D. One end will be this side, which is going to the data part. And again, control D. One end is here. The other end, I'm just dragging it here. And again, one more arrow control D reduce the size and put it here and control D one more arrow which is going from this to this so you can see here our design is over we have to just add the text now to add the text go to insert text box and type it here start make it white century gothic 
make it bold and reduce the size to 14 center align and put it here and similarly you can add the text to all other symbols so you can see here i have added the text decision process one process two process three and then the action and the end so uh, this is the simplest way you can create the process flow diagram That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.